optical fiber okay so numerical aperture and second one acceptance angle okay these two are very very important this is very important question okay so without preparing you should not go to exam okay that much important here so why we what are these parameters what is this means suppose you are sending the light through the fiber right you are sending the light okay we don't know how much light we are uh, uh, suppose we are sending most of, we are sending the most of the light from here okay we are launching light and we are sending the light but here how much light is propagating through the core medium okay how much output we are getting okay how much output are we are getting that we have to understand using this uh, numerical aperture and acceptance angle okay these are just like a fiber characteristics okay fiber characteristics like take suppose uh, when you studied device we have studied device characteristics right here also these are just like a uh, characteristics okay fiber characteristics okay see what is the numerical aperture in the actually ep lab we have uh, this experiment also numerical aperture using fiber also we can find out the numerical aperture and acceptance angle also so definition we will see first one what is the numerical aperture numerical aperture it's a simple very simple light gathering property of a fiber the light gathering property of a fiber that means what how much light we can brought into the center of the optical fiber okay or how much light we gather to the uh, fiber how much light we gather uh, to incident on the fiber okay this will will measure in terms of angle okay that means this is uh, units are angles degrees right units, units are degrees units are degrees and we will measure in terms of angle so what is the definition of numerical aperture it is a light gathering property of a fiber okay that means how much light we are gathering or how much light we are brought into the center of the fiber or to, to the fiber okay so what is the definition now what is the numerical aperture definition what do you say yeah it's a very very simple just uh, you can say light gathering property of a fiber and that means how much light we are uh, bringing or how much light we are brought into center of the fiber okay this will measure in terms of angle okay so we will uh, there is a calculation part derivation part we will do this one very carefully so any doubt somebody asking about no doubt so here you see this is the core medium okay here uh, already uh, this part okay this part is the core okay this is the core medium and here only core cladding we are taking okay this is cladding okay core cladding we are taking this is the air medium this is core medium this is cladding medium okay this one just i shall have draw this one okay red red line is the core okay red one up to red between these two red lines we have a core medium so this is just like a like this okay so this is air from air we are launching the light here okay it is at center after this is the incident angle theta is the incident angle okay theta is incident angle theta r is the refraction angle theta i is the incident and theta r is the refraction and it is launching it is uh, propagating at point b it is incidenting the boundary of core cladding after that at the boundary it is again reflecting back that means total internal reflection taking place again at the boundary c again it is reflecting back so light is multiple times reflecting within the core only okay light is multiple times reflecting within the core medium only you can see core refractive index is n1 cladding refractive index is n2 and air medium refractive index is n0 okay n naught you can say n0 n naught so we will find out how much uh, how much angle will uh, what is the numerical ap aperture or in terms of angle we will estimate okay you remember this diagram we are launching the light from a okay this is theta is the incident angle and when enter into core this will slightly 
refract okay because air medium and core medium so a refractive index is one and coring is greater than one okay core medium is refracted. that's why it is refract. entering into the medium this core medium after that at cladding the core cladding refractive index is less okay n1 greater than n2 that's why it is reflecting back again at the boundary of core and cladding okay like that it will multiple times reflect now we'll apply snell's law at point a and at point b okay point b and point a will apply snell's law and we'll try to find out okay uh, this uh, numerical aperture okay so you apply snell's law at point a so this is the snell's law at point a okay air refractive index generally n1 sin theta 1 is equal to n2 sin theta 2 this is a snell's law so here n1 means air refractive index that is n0 or you can and theta 1 is just you take as a theta i okay n1 sin theta i i is the instant angle okay n2 n2 means here core refractive index we are taking as n1 okay n1 sin theta refractive angle is theta 2 means refraction angle right we are writing theta r so from there you can write sin theta i is equal sin theta i is equal to n1 by n0 and sin theta r how can we write can we write like this cos square theta r okay one minus can we write like this yes sir so sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. From there we have written this one. Okay. So here uh, this is it. We applied Snell's law at point A, right? At point A. Now second one, this is let's take equation one. We apply Snell's law at point B. Okay. Point B means you can see figure here. We are applying here. That means incident angle. What is the incident angle here? This is the refraction angle we have. Uh, this is given already. Uh, ref, uh, this angle theta is the refraction angle. This theta i, where is theta i? How much theta i? So this angle is theta r. But we want this is not incident angle. This is the incident angle, right? So this one, how much this incident angle? At point B, suppose what is the incident angle? At point A, theta is the incident angle. At point B, what is the incident angle total angle is this 90 degrees right so this is theta i given theta r is there and 90 we know can we find out theta yes. i ah, sorry 90 minus theta r yeah very good okay that uh, angle is 90 minus theta r you can apply same thing uh, uh, you can see as this is nestle right from there n1 means core refractive index sin theta i means here at the point b 90 minus theta r this is the instant angle this is the instant angle and n2 sin theta 2 okay in the graph sin theta 2 how much it is reflecting at this point at b point it is not entering into the medium 2 cladding medium that means theta 2 is 90 degrees theta 2 is 90 degrees okay so you substitute here 90 degrees then n1 what is this one sine 90 minus theta r cos theta yeah cos theta r is equal to n2 sine 90 is 1 okay cos theta r is equal to you can write n2 by n1 n2 by n1 so this is the equation 2 you see in equation one we have what we have one minus cos square theta r can we substitute this theta to here uh, sorry sir, cos theta to here right you can substitute there sin theta i is equal to n1 by n0 1 minus n2 square by n1 square isn't it this time writing direct step so from there you can uh, rewrite this expression n1 by n0 here n1 square minus n2 square and we are taking n1 outside this n1 and this n1 will cancel out now we will get the 
sin theta i is equal this much right 1 by n0 n1 square minus n2 square okay or you can write theta i is equal sin inverse sin inverse n0 is equal to 1 this is a refractive index a medium refractive index always 1 you can substitute n0 is equal to 1 then sin inverse n1 square minus n2 square under root okay this is the acceptance angle theta is the this angle is the acceptance angle okay it is interrelated acceptance angle and numerical aperture is interrelated acceptance angle okay so next one is numerical aperture numerical aperture is equal to the sin theta i okay sin theta i so numerical aperture is equal to what is the value now what is the numerical aperture root of n1 square minus n2 square yeah very good so n1 square minus n2 square this is the numerical aperture and second one is the acceptance angle okay so acceptance angle means the fiber will allow okay when we incident the light within this angle or within this angle only suppose we are sending this is the fiber so we are launching different angles okay we are launching the light different angle but all angles the fiber will not accept only particular angle of uh, incident rays only it will accept that particular angle we are calling acceptance angle acceptance means the light accepting the fiber is accepting that light particular instant of light where that fiber is accepting that is what okay in the question on in the question only you have answer acceptance angle so but at particular if you launching the light at particular angle that light only the fiber is accepting okay that's what acceptance angle means okay so if you substitute numerical these values okay if you substitute these values n1 and n2 you will get the numerical aperture depending on that you can say this much of light is gathering okay this much of uh, if you incident the light within this with this angle this much of light we, we are gathering suppose we are, you are launching 10 rays here 10 optical rays you are launching so within that if you calculate the acceptance angle or you can estimate the acceptance angle within this 10 maybe 5 uh, rays may be accepted okay that means what so we are launching many light but using this new numerical aperture and acceptance angle we can say how much how many lights are coming towards the center that means how many light rays are fiber is accepting so what will measure in this numerical aperture and acceptance angle how much light the fiber is accepting and how much light suppose you you brought 10 uh, you incident that 10 rays optical rays but within that only five are useful so remaining five are not useful that can that can we can find out using numerical aperture and acceptance angle so here it very very easy you can see here only two things are there first you apply snell's law at point a and actually snell's law is n1 sin theta 1 is called n2 sin theta 2 so you apply snell's law at point a so n1 means n1 that is core refractive index, that is a a refractive index and theta is the incident angle and n, n2 means here a core refractive index n1 and sin theta r refraction angle so from there once you apply snell's law at point a between medium air medium and core medium air and core medium you are applying snell's law so this is n0 and core refractive index is n1 incident angle is theta i and refraction angle is theta r if you apply this air and core medium uh, n, uh, n1 n0 sin theta i is equal to n1 sin theta r this is theta n0 sorry so if you write sin theta is equal to n1 by n2 under root of 1 minus cos square theta we are replacing sin theta r in terms of cos theta r and second thing you apply snell's law at point b so point b if you apply you we don't know snell's law incident angle but we know this angle theta r and we know total uh, perpendicular this angle total degree 90 
and you can estimate this angle incident angle okay so 90 minus theta r gives the incident angle and at boundary b the uh, theta 2 is become 90 degrees that's why the light is not entering into the guiding medium then you substitute simply you write cos theta r is equal to n2 by n1 and you substitute in equation 1 then you will get the numerical aperture and acceptance angle okay this is what this is the uh, acceptance angle and numerical aperture okay today we will uh, close this class uh, tomorrow we will see different types of optical fibers different types of optical fiber that is also one